students today i will teach you class 4 mathematics chapter number 2 addition now what are the key concepts that we are going to learn in this chapter are adding 5 and 6 digit numbers properties of addition third is solving word problems based on addition and the fourth is framing word problems now before explaining these four points i will explain you what we already learned till class 3 first is what is addition so children addition is the process of calculating the total of two or more numbers here i will take one example 342 plus 163 now this is the sign of addition now children what is the first point that we need to remember that we have to arrange this 342 and 163 in correct order what is the correct order first we will arrange this one in column Now see three hundred forty two plus one hundred sixty three. First step is we will start the addition process from ones place, then tens place, then hundreds place, then thousands place, and so on. So first we will add ones place that is two plus three, and that is five. Then tens place four plus six, that is ten. Ten, but we will write zero here. and this one will go to next place that is hundreds place as carry now 1 plus 3 that is 4 plus 1 that is 5 so 505 is the answer now children what we call these two numbers which we are adding so these two numbers 342 and 163 we call as addends and this 505 the answer of the add addition process is called sum that also we need to remember now second thing what we have to learn that if we change the order of the addends then also the sum will be same let us see if i change 163 in place of 342 and if i write 342 in place of 163 then also the answer will be 505 let us see See children, here also when I change the order of the addends, then also the answer is five hundred five. It means that if I will change the order of the addends, then also answer will be same. Now let us take another example. That is, now here, how many addends are there? Three addends: three hundred forty-two plus one hundred twenty-three plus two hundred twenty-three. Now, if I will add these two numbers first, then. The answer is four hundred sixty-five. But this is not final answer. One more addend is there. Then we will take this addend.
and this is the answer 688 okay but if i will take this two number first means i will add this two number first then whatever the answer we i will get then that with that answer i will add this third add in then what happened let us see here 346 is the answer now i will take this 346 or again i will write this 346 and one more number is here 342 342 add it again see children that 688 is the answer it means that if i will arrange the added in any order then also the sum is same now what are the points we have learned here that definition of addition if we change the position of the addends then also the sum is same and we have to arrange it in column then add one more point is here that when we are doing the addition process we will start from ones place then tens place then hundred then thousand and so on now children i am giving you four five questions based on this topic and you have to practice it at home and first do it i'm solving this first question that what is the process of doing the addition the first is we have to make the column first of all we cannot write the direct answer we will do the we will arrange it in column and then we will write first now as i told you that first we will start from ones place 3 plus 4 that is 7 now tens place 8 plus 3 that is 11 that carry will be 1 and 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 so answer is 417 now same way you have to solve 2 3 4 5 these four questions now in my next video i will give you the properties of addition and the questions based on that till now thank you